hello my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month love readings i want to apologize we are running a bit behind but it's been crazy and everyone's trying to get their consultations everyone's freaking out i hope you and your loved ones are staying safe uh, in these difficult times and for those of you guys that are trying to get consultations uh, now is the time to reach out as we are quickly booking for the month of june and july for those of you guys that have reached out, please be patient. We are a bit behind on our social medias. We will get to you guys as soon as we can. All right. This reading is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month going into June. All right. Virgo, you have the truth card, power card and wonders card partner a person of interest simplicity action and fulfillment okay so i see here what what i'm seeing here for you guys is there could have been a situation where you were either communicating with someone or dealing with someone of interest um where there was a lot of insecure issues in regards to truths in regards to believing or trust um now this could have been the person you were dealing with that was giving you kind of like red flags or perhaps not being completely transparent and honest with you um at least that's how you interpret it virgo now with the truth card what spirit is telling you here is that you have to learn to be honest you have to be honest with yourself and be honest with those that you're dealing with or that you are connecting on a romantic level uh, power signifies having the need to believe in yourself and have faith in yourself a lot of the times we often forget to love and take care of ourselves when we are in search of wanting to have a relationship or build a relationship um, and it's often you know it's often felt as in the need to want to give so much love but sometimes um, it is important for us to understand that that love that you're so focused in wanting to give to someone else is as crucial, if not mo more important, to give that love to yourself, Virgo. So what Spirit is saying here is that there is a need for you to believe more in yourself, to have confidence in yourself. Stop self-doubting yourself too much, Virgo. And that feeling of like often not trusting people or you know having your defenses up perhaps because of past experiences what spirit is telling you here is that you need to believe more in yourself and love yourself more to the point of unconditional love only then are you going to be able to basically be ready to receive love uh from a person that that can bring to you a healthy relationship now the wonders card does speak about the potential of what may come or the potential of what you may attract towards you and it comes from believing in the power to yourself or of yourself so i think that for some of you guys it could be that you guys have you know often find yourselves in a situation where you connect with someone and you're getting to know them and for some reason it never takes off the ground meaning it comes to a halt and then they either ghost you or it's you virgo that ghost is them and what they're telling you here is because when we are such focused in trying to be in a relationship and trying to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend we often put out the energy of desperation and that's not a good energy why because there's a lot of self uh lack in belief in yourself that other people may not see it but can sense it they can feel it so instead of you being able to pull them you're kind of pushing them away so what they're telling you here is again it starts with yourself virgo now the person of your interest or the person that you were dealing with or have been dealing with you has the simplicity card so simplicity could represent this is a person that could be more like uh, coming towards you for those of you guys that are single this is a person that's coming towards you it's a new energy and what they're saying is that with simplicity there's beauty behind it try not to have preconceived notions about what you want from the person meaning in a relationship when you're first getting to know someone you can have a tendency of rushing things or 
like you're visualizing and fantasizing about how they're going to be in a relationship and stuff like that. And what they're telling you is try the best you can, Virgo, not to have expectations because when you don't, when you're getting to know someone and there's no expectations there, there's no resistance. So the energy could flow organically and they can be themselves and you can be yourselves without the pressure of what they may be expecting or what you may be expecting. So I think that that's going to be the easiest route to be able to connect, to be able to uh, find out that you guys have a lot of things in common. Now, the action card, this could be a person that you meet. Uh, it could be a person that's coming towards you that could be ruled by fire. So it could be, they could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Leo. It could be um, an Aries uh, type of energy. And they're very action -orient oriented. Uh, they're very, you know, you will definitely know that they're interested in you because they will not hide that. They're very, very blunt in regards to what they want and what interests them. And the fulfillment card, there is potential here. There's potential to actually manifest a long-term relationship here. Again, taking the pointers or the advice that Spirit is giving to you. Now, for those of you guys that are currently dealing with someone or you are in a committed relationship, I think truth is something that is very important. Stop holding things to yourself, Virgo, if you feel like you have to bite your tongue because you don't want to make them feel less or you don't want to make them feel like they're going to get upset because you're being completely honest. At the end of the day, it's very important to be transparent in your relationships. And the power, understanding the power that you possess, understanding that even as an example, if things are not going the way you would want them, you can always turn things around and it starts with your mind. So you need to be more conscious about the self-talk that you do to yourself. You tend to have a lot of negative self-talk. So you have to work on that. And wonders, opening your heart and your mind to possibilities. I know that Virgos tend to be earthly bound, but it is important also to understand that there is an importance in being open-minded. Don't be so stuck in the mud, Virgo. Be open to new possibilities and new changes, even if it means getting out of your comfort zone. Um, the simplicity card represents what your partner is currently experiencing, and they could be either very not vocal, perhaps not trying to uh, start or steer the waters, basically, uh, there is a, a need for them to take action re in regards to the relationship. So again, action in the sense that perhaps they're doing something that, you know, you've been wanting them to stop doing or it's upsetting you. Or even as an example, it could be that you feel like you can't open up to them. And what they're telling you here is that you have to be honest. Stop biting your tongue and be honest about what's bothering you, Virgo, so that they can understand and you give them the opportunity either to fix it or to want to change a certain behavior. And if they decide not to, then at least you know you were completely honest and later on there's no regrets. They also have the fulfillment card. So I think that they're really putting effort and energy into trying to prove to you, um, either prove to you that they can change or prove to you that they can better do or that they can do better when it comes to communication. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.